Oh yeah, we got a bald eagle right here. Let's see if it's the male or the female. One of the two. Well, what's going on here? I saw a bird fly past it. But yeah, there it is right there. Oh yeah, so let's uh, take a look here. Is it the banded one? Mm, I can't tell. Yeah, I'm trying to look at it. Oh yeah, there it is. I see the band. That silver band right there. I believe that's the band. It actually has one of its talons up. Only because it's doing that to regulate its body temperature. Yeah, they do that sometimes. They hold one talon up and the other one on the object that they're standing on. So yeah, so this would be the female then. The female bald eagle. She's looking great. Alright. So this is actually the second to last day that I'll be here. Because I'm officially moving to Georgia on Saturday. Yeah, so tomorrow will be the last day that I'll be working. I already gave my work, um, well, a week's notice. Although, I was initially supposed to leave last week. But I made a mistake, and we ended up staying here in New Jersey longer. So, um, the house closed a week later than expected so that's why I'm moving um, Saturday instead of last Friday um, in the meantime I'll try to get some more recordings today and tomorrow if I don't get any recordings tomorrow then today will be the last day that I'll be able to see these bald eagles right here and the nestling so I figured since I, since the the parents are there today and they're not usually on the bear branch, I figured today would be the perfect opportunity to film them. Let's zoom this out a little bit so we can see what this bald eagle's doing. Oh, he's preening up. A feather actually came off, or she's preening. I didn't I didn't mean to say he's preening because it is a she. That I know for a fact. So there she is, standing tall and proud. This wonderful bald eagle right here. She's looking at me. She's, oh, okay, not quite. <laughs> Just looking around. Not really looking at me. Hmm. Looking back there, of course.
Yeah, I do actually want to check to see if the bald eaglet is in the nest. And if I and if it is, then what I can do is um, I'll do another 15 minutes recording the eaglet as well. Yeah, I just can't do more than 30 minutes a day because I've been going to bed very late and I, I can't be losing sleep all the time. And wow, that, this bald eagle is really preening up good. Wow. Really getting those tail feathers. Oh, yeah. Check that out, man. Oh, yeah, and that's definitely the female. Oh, yeah, I can tell right away. Yeah, let me, um, let me point that up just a little bit further. That way. There we go, okay. That is just simply beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I've never seen, I've never seen either of the eagles preen their tail before. Especially not like that. I would consider this a rare treat to see. Yeah, so while she's preening up, I'm gonna go and see if the bald eaglet is near the nest. I'm just hoping that this female bald eagle doesn't leave this spot before I come back. Alright, be right back. Just have to make sure.
Alright, so the bald eaglet is in the nest, and guess what else is there too? My sandwich that I put out yesterday. It was completely uneaten. Yes. So what I did is I grabbed it with my hand and I threw it on the other side of this river, or this little creek that you can't quite see right here, but if I zoom out you'll be able to see it. And this way at least you'll be able to see how far away this eagle is from me. But yeah, there's there's actually a, a little creek, a very small creek, right behind these these uh, bushes here. You can't really see it very well, but it ended up landing on. Oh, look what's going on! Is he gonna fly? Oh, this would be a perfect chance to watch this bald eagle. Or sorry, I didn't mean to say eagle. I meant to say bald eagle. Bald eagle in flight. No, not quite. Just printing up. A little bit more. Let's uh, point this down a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so um, truth be told, bald eagles don't really prefer sandwiches. Hmm. But for some reason, when I put out caramel popcorn, that managed to disappear. Which may have not been the bald eagles that ate that after all. Could have been some other critter of some sort. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm always experimenting with things. Figuring out ways that I could get closer to these bald eagles. Yes. Yeah, there are ways I can do so. But as far as I know, these bald eagles are content either on the bear branch or somewhere out further, you know, across the lake over there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and film the bald eaglet right now. Alright, so before I film this bald eaglet in the nest, I just want to show you something. So, um, if you remember yesterday at the end of my video, I actually set a sandwich right here and a few minutes ago I threw it over at the other side of this, this here lake or creek or whatever. So you can't see it, but if I were to zoom in here, it's somewhere like in the vicinity of like, oh, you know what? It's floating right there. No, I'm sorry, that's a leaf. What am I thinking? Yeah, so somewhere in this creek. Okay, which you know, you can't really see it. And actually, it could actually, oh, you know what? I believe that's it. Yeah, I believe that's my sandwich that I just threw, yeah. Is it a leaf or a sandwich? Yeah, I believe that's it. So I almost threw it to the other side. It just didn't quite make it, so it ended up in the water. Not exactly what I had in mind. But anyways, back to the, the eagle, which is really... All right, I ran out of battery, so I'm gonna go ahead and record this bald eagle before this battery runs out of cameras too. All right, and if I do run out of camera um, batteries, I guess this is goodbye until tomorrow, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, and hopefully I don't run out of cam uh, batteries while I'm zooming here. Usually that ends up happening. All right, so I'm going to keep going. You can start seeing it right here, okay? There's the eaglet, all right? Okay, I'm kind of an unstable surface. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly, the tripod's not exactly as stable as I want. There's a train again, yeah. Lots of trains today, huh? It's the third one. All right, so I'm now gonna zoom in, hopefully all the way in here. All right, yeah, there it is, huh? Yes, 
so this isn't working out so well. So yeah, so this tree branch is slightly blocking the eaglet's head, which is okay, I guess. I mean, he always picks this particular tree branch for whatever strange reason. Yeah, so this eaglet's right here, you know, right on that tree branch. He didn't notice my meat and cheese sandwich that I put out right here on the ground. I tried to put it within sight, but it didn't work. Yeah, as if I was not stupid to know that this eagle wouldn't eat bread. I know I'm stupid to think that, but what you gonna do? The adventures of being me. That's right. <laughs> All right, uh, let me uh, just get this a little bit more stable. Yeah, this tripod isn't very stable, so what I need to do is... Uh, oh man. You see what sometimes happens here is... Is... I can't... I just can't... Uh, yeah, see? I do have a way to make it more stable. Bear with me here, okay? There we go. Now I'm at a stable spot. Probably better if I just zoom out so that I can see the bald eagle more clearly here. Center it. There we go. It's about as centered as I'm going to get. There we go. So yeah, the bald eagle is doing just fine. And... Yeah, I mean... Can't really hear any eagles calling. I don't know where the father is. I know the mother is on the bare branch. And usually it's not her that I see. Usually it's the father. Well, I'll record this for another 10 minutes and then I'll call it a day. Oh. Oh, there we go. Calls from the mother and the father. Yes, I heard them both talking to each other. Now, it could be possible that I could be hearing a different eagle pair. And the reason why I say that is because there was actually a guy who I saw who was hiking here at this park. And he told me that there is actually another nest, another eagle nest, but you cannot see it from the trail. You have to actually boat from the lake. There's actually a special trail that that only boaters use. It's only ex and the nest is only visible by the lake and you have to really look hard to see it. It's not like in plain sight or anything like that. It's a little bit harder to see than this nest. So yeah, so it, it is very possible that the eagle calls could be from other eagles. And there could be some territory conflict. Yeah because bald eagles don't usually hang around with other bald eagles the same way that hawks don't inter interfere with other hawks. 
They keep their distance from each other. Only family members that are closely related to each other can get close to one another. But once they hit a certain age, they're, you know, they're off on their own and the parents are insignificant to them. Okay, let's just put it that way. So yeah, so being that the eagle is hard to see, um, probably be better if I just record for another eight minutes and that's it. Which is really my plan anyways, because I have to go to work very early, and that would be the father eagle calling, I'm guessing. Another train, that's the fourth one, train number four. Yeah, I've been keeping track of these trains. They've been coming and going like crazy today. A little bit more than usual. Yeah, this bald eaglet is really just standing there. I, I really want to try to get some more footage. But not if he's just standing there. I'm going to I'm going to go back to where the um to where the mother eagle is and see if I can get better footage from that one. But first, I need to check to see if she is in fact there. Okay, yes, the mother eagle is still there, so let's go ahead and do another take. Looking through a thicket of brush, okay? So you can see that it can be dif difficult. Very difficult, okay? Yeah, this spot's not working. So if you want to try to focus in on the object, you have to really, like, try very hard. 
Okay, there we go. And it looks like she's sleeping. Yes, she's closing her eyes. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. She's completely closing her eyes. She's very tired. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm watching an eagle <laughs> with her eyes closed. And the red winged blackbird is attacking her, <sighs> ruining her sleep. How dare that red winged blackbird interrupt this bald eagle's slumber? How dare that red winged blackbird do that? Seriously. Very disappointing. Oh, she's drifting to sleep again. That's great. Oh, she opened her eyes. Hmm. Hello there. Hello, bald eagle. You can see me, can't you? There comes a train, that's one. So this is actually the very closest that I can possibly get to this bald eagle. And the reason why it's the closest is because this is the only spot where I'm directly, like, pretty much in front of it rather than like sideways. Because when you start walking on the trail, it's it you know it's further it gets further and further away. So this is this is actually the closest closest spot. I always love looking at this bald eagle right here. She is so beautiful. She really is. Okay, let's look down. Let's look down at its talons. See the band? Yeah, you see that silver band right there. She's got another band. It's a green band. That indicates that she's from New Jersey. Oh, well, let me go back up again. Well, let me let me go down first. Why? So I can look at this bald eagle's gorgeous tail! <gasps> yeah! Right there! Yeah, I just had to look at that. <laughs> Alright. Pointing up, pointing up, pointing up, and there she is. Oh, oh crap, uh-oh. Yeah, if that happens, I have to zoom out and zoom back in. So that's that's the bald eagle that I'm trying to look at, but it's coming out of focus because of the... Yes, would you like to try to guess? The tree branches that are actually above and around this bald eagle. So that's why this is not a very great spot to view it. So this, this, really, this is really a good test to see how well my camera can come into focus you know under like certain conditions okay but you have to literally zoom in very fast as soon as you as soon as you see it and oh man he is or I mean she is looking right at me she's looking directly at me and she can probably hear what I'm saying too yeah she is really really looking at me oh Okay, not looking at me so much anymore.
Oh, red winged blackbird went through again. Uh, I can never get tired of those red winged blackbirds pestering these bald eagles. Well, let me just hope that this red winged blackbird stays away. It's probably why this bald eagle is never there. Because when she's on this tree branch, she's out in the open. And as you know, when any raptor is out in the open, it pretty much unprotects them because not to say they can possibly hurt them. I mean, maybe tear a few feathers off, but nothing real major. <laughs> but yeah, red-winged blackbird um, probably won't win. Because <laughs> this bald eagle's been here for a really, really long time. Yeah, since 2008, actually. think that I'm looking at a bald eagle that's at least 11 years old. It's just astounding. You know, there's something I notice about this bald eagle, but it looks like she may have eaten recently. Because it looks like she has a full crop. Yeah. But I can just see the bulge right, right there, right where that tiny little white spot is right there. Right there, yeah. And she's looking right at me as I'm saying that. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I hope you had a good dinner. Did you have a good dinner? Did you? Did you? There's a red-winged blackbird passing this bald eagle again. But the bald eagle doesn't notice, which is good. It's always better to not notice these things. Mm. Well, too bad I can't zoom out because if I do I'll lose focus I mean maybe there's a possibility I could still get it but I just have to be very very careful because and she's looking at me again <laughs> I can't zoom out too far because like I said it will it will come out of focus very very easily there we go maybe just one little notch whoops okay and you can see that she's actually got her other talon out. Like way up in the air, way, or should I say way down there. Yeah.
you know, if I kind of look very closely, it kind of looks like a guy in an eagle costume. It really does. It's hard to believe. <laughs> I know. I know, I'm pretty much laughing at myself. Like, if you look at the tail, like, it looks like a leg, and you look at the, the talon that's sticking out, it looks like another leg. It looks like it's an actual human. But it's got a white mask on. Yeah, that, that's actually an eagle's head, but that's, what's funny is it, it is an actual an eagle. It, I mean, it is actually an eagle, a bald eagle to be exact. Kind of looks like she's riding on one of those like ponies, you know what I mean? Those little ponies that sometimes they put like in front of malls and stuff. Yeah, kind of that 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 tree branch that she's standing on kind of looks like that. I know I've got a weird imagination, but you just really have to look at the pose just perfectly, and then you'll understand it perfectly. But yeah, that's looking great. One question that I have is how long can she hold her talon like that? She can probably do that for like an hour or more. What do you think? Maybe. Hearing the male. Yeah, that's the one I'm hearing. put her talon back down. What does that mean? Does that mean she's going to fly off? Oh, uh-oh. Okay, with only 57 seconds remaining. Let's find out what she does. And here comes the breeze. A little breeze going, huh? She's tempted to fly off. She seems tempted. She's got her leg onto the firmly onto the branch it just really seems like she's gonna take off well with only 30 seconds remaining I just like to let you know thank you for watching these eagle videos that I put out so this might actually be the very last video if I don't see any bald eagles tomorrow so I guess I'll see you when I move to Georgia and we'll have more raptor videos on the way. Take care, everybody. See ya.